Hey everyone, welcome back, and here we have match number two between Pandemic Legion and We Form Volta, and here are the matchups that we're looking at today. So, Pandemic Legion has brought Navy Scorpion, double Claymores, instead of double Slipnir, very interesting. Uh, Scimitar, double Jackdaw, double Zippel, Manicore, what has Volta brought? Volta has been bringing, has brought the double Fleet Foon, uh, which is something we've seen a lot today. Uh, uh, also, uh, another Foon, and a Prophecy, obviously, for their links, and then a smattering of, uh, looks like, web-based support ships. You know, I was just looking over the ships really quickly, now that we just have just a little bit of time here, and it looks like these are going to be cruise foons and a cruise Navy Scorpion. I'm interested to see how these claymores work, just because generally you do not see them, especially as like an attack roll ship, in the AT. Definitely the first go. time we've seen them here. Are their hands going to be enough? Yeah, we're, we're seeing the, the uh, looks like Volta run towards uh, the PL lines with their uh, fleet foons aggressively coming straight for their setup here. Oh, well, one of the hyenas for Volta is taking a lot of damage Yeah, because it's got Volta, that Volta needs to be careful with these jackdaws very close to it. TikTok immediately trying to grab a little bit of range. It seems to have stabilized, but during that time, Zippo lost on Pandemic Legion's yeah, side. Yeah, those hyenas are going straight for keeping that uh, Svibpol fleet off of the fleet. They're trying to keep them stable and away so that their support can kill them because those will run rough shot again like we've seen in a lot of other matches earlier. Well, oh, but push. this Typhoon oh, is going down typhoon. so hard. Wow, reps so wow. landing, landing Red so late. You know what, right over. now Volta needs to be very careful if they're losing a battleship already. Yeah, uh, I mean, the, they the, only have a Tech 1 Lodgy, and oh, it looks like he's just stabilized. Oh my god, low armor. Wow. That is just a shred of armor. From what I'm seeing right now, 5% structure. Wow, Theroth has to be counting his lucky stars that Volta lived through that. What was the quote that we were told earlier? A bee's dick? Uh, yeah, possibly from the Aussie team, but I'd say Pandemic Legion's team is just absolutely covered in webs. The double hyenas that Volta brought are just doing absolute work here. One of them down, control feet down. Again, Pandemic Legion switching their DPS back to the Foon, and then switching back to Hyena. Really stressing the Augurer. Starfleet Commander doing everything he can to try and keep his team up with his reps spread out, but this Typhoon is just, oh, down oh, to it. If they lose the Hyena... down, and the Hyena is also dripping deep in this uh, armor. Yeah, Fleety wow, oh, Hyena down, down, too. So that's that's three ships down quickly. The Augurer just stretched too thin. Pandemic Legion on point, back and forth calling DPS calls, and it cannot be understated, but the Double Jackdaws do a lot of damage to these light ships. Getting the Hyenas off first was a great call, not going for the bombers. The hyenas are going to allow the damage from these cruise wounds and the bombers just to be amplified against the claymores, which have an extremely great tank. And right now, Volta, unable to break Pandemic Legion Scimitar, they might be in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, I mean, it's it's it's, it's just looking like more bad news for uh, Volta. The auger's been webbed, snossed, and painted, and scrammed. So he's in serious trouble, because those claymores and scorpions, if they get a hold of them, are probably going to knock him down pretty quick. Uh, speaking of things that are having a bad time, that that scimitar and peel side is also dipping very, very low in this armor. It's definitely running uh, the last few of its XLASB charges, but at this point, it may have stayed alive long enough to live. It's going down just now, but you know these two claymores on the Pandemic Legion side are essentially just missile-based slip mirrors uh, it, for all intents and purposes. They have hams, so they're not going to be able to get any damage at all unless the Augurer is scrammed and webbed. Currently, it is. It is now down. And Again, now the Pure Fire down is too, so that's another huge chunk of DPS. Yes, it is. Gone. Yes, it is. The question is, is can these two Fleet Foons do enough damage against claymores and scorpions without the hyenas. The issue with taking cruise missiles, if you do not have your targets grappled, painted, and webbed, which are what the hyenas were designed to do with their bonus target painters and long webs, it's going to be difficult to apply damage, especially to these claymores, which are battle cruisers. So they're going to have a smaller SIG, a wonderful active tank. So it's going to be difficult to see if Volta can claw their way back. Well, it's that same problem uh, you have with the difference between the fleet typhoon and the normal foon. The foon does get an application bonus, but when you start going up to the fleet, it doesn't have that same bonus. So it needed to have those hyenas there to apply a pl uh, appreciable damage. Yeah, Mystical Might right now, just taking the damage primary, he's just covered by both of the Claymores and the Navy Scorpion. He's going to go down in short order, and I think they're going to focus then on the other fleet typhoon. Uh, again, the Prophecy on both side is just there to provide links. Pandemic Legion just showing mastery, doing very well on their target calling, knowing exactly how Volta's team works, knowing exactly what pieces to pick apart first. They didn't go directly for the Augurer, instead they went for the Hyenas, which allowed this three battleship core, which with cruise missiles has a lot of potential damage, but immediately by icing those Hyenas, 
their ability to apply that damage became extremely limited. Uh, Tinking and the Scimitar stayed alive long enough to give his Claymore, the Navy Scorpion, the head start they needed when taking down the battleships. And right now, this looks like curtains for Volta. Yeah, I mean, uh, as we were saying uh, last yesterday, and this is the part where you know you're going to die. It's only a matter of time, but you have to stay alive long enough to, to give your team a chance. And this is clearly a case where that Scimitar made them earn that kill in blood that they could not afford to replace. So it looks like Andy Garden is again trying to play with the edge of the arena. We know how well that's worked for uh, PL in the past, so we're going to watch very carefully. I don't think anything's going to happen here. Both these Claymores are being very, very passive in chasing down this Fleet Typhoon. No rush. Uh, you know, for those of you that are watching the tournament who may not know or, or who are new players, these hyenas, these very small electronic attack ships with ranges uh, with ranges to webs and target painters really make this team that Volta had brought. And I'm just bringing it back again to say not only on Pandemic Legion side, but both of those Zipples too. These small ships are really the linchpin of the entire operation. Zipples getting behind, getting the tackle on the auger, getting tackle on hyenas. And then, of course, hyenas on the Volta side grabbing the webs and the bonus target painters really allow the bigger ships like Claymore, Scorpions, and Typhoons to actually do their job. So... Small ship piloting, again, really, really good at display here, uh, showing how it should be done. Um, Pandemic Legion is just finishing up the last of the EHP that Volta has, and mm -hmm. it looks like they're going to have a pretty clean win. Yeah, I mean, uh, you saw at the beginning how incredibly powerful that was. That first uh, spit pole just died. Uh, but, you know, once they were able to get under their webs and then get close enough to get their own tackle back on those ships, those hyenas were just lights out. Yeah, Hyenas had a lot to worry about with the Jackdaws, that's for sure. Um, those light missile T3Ds, uh, very, very deadly against smaller frigates and other destroyers. Not to mention the fact that Zipple's running at you very quickly. Hyena pilots had a lot to think about early on. All the T3 destroyers are very, very good at killing electronic warfare frigates. Uh, uh, Jackdaws especially, just because they don't have to deal with tracking and the long range of the light missiles. So, a little bit just to clean up here. Vengeance, uh, ooh, trying to make it, but... Just, just, hey, just finish off. All right. Well, that's the end of that one. So we're going to hand it back to the uh, 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 analysis desk. Back to you.